Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and what you're looking at is some Battlefield 4 trailer footage that I haven't used before, so uh, yeah, check that out. I saw it at the premiere event, etc. It was really cool. Anyway, this video is not so much about Battlefield 4. If you want to see the whole trailer, then there'll be an annotation on the screen. What it's really about is the PlayStation 4, and they did this big, like, coming out kind of party. Like, on February 20th, they told us a whole bunch of stuff, but that was over a month ago, and we've learned a lot more about the PS4 since that event, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video on that and sort of cover all the things about the PS4 that hopefully you haven't known already. So here we go. The first thing that you might not have heard already is the friends limit is increasing. And I've got more to talk about with that too. But um, right now, both the Xbox and the PS3 actually cap the number of friends you can have at 100. And both of them have said that they're going to increase that number. I don't know what it's going to be increased to. I, I don't have a clue. But... Um, it's going to be higher than 100, we know that for sure. I hope that what this implies is that the menu system on the PS3 is faster. Most of you guys have probably never had this problem, but if you get thousands of messages or thousands of friend requests, then just going through, the, like pulling up your message list can take 15, 20 minutes on the PS3. I'm hoping that because they're feeling confident, because the hardware's getting better and they're increasing these limits, that that means that they've also worked out performance problems. So I bet they have, because they have a whole new dedicated processor for background stuff. So now, you know, if, if it's too busy, then it should be okay. But anyway, yeah, they're going to increase the number of friends you can have on your list. The next thing you might not have known, digital buttons. So the buttons on the PS3 controller are actually analog. They work differently based on how hard you press them. It's not just like an on and off, a depressed or not depressed. There's a halfway depressed or a quarter way depressed. But after, I don't know how old the PS3 is, maybe six years old, something like that. Uh, after that experience, they decided that developers weren't really taking advantage of it. They were just kind of using it as an on and off. And what you had were kind of mushy buttons that weren't the ideal experience. So they're ditching the idea of analog buttons, going to digital buttons, and now there's going to be a more crisp sort of on-off feeling to the buttons as opposed to the mushy, like, now you could theoretically use the buttons as a throttle. I don't know if there are any games that do that, but whereas if you press them halfway, it responds differently than pressing it all the way but that's not going to be the case in the ps4 the ps4 charges your controller while it's sleeping <laughs> oh, man. anyone who has a ps3 knows how much needed this is uh, it, as it stands now you know, your ps3 controller the battery lasts a really long time by the way they've done a great job with that but what they didn't do a great job with is you can only charge the ps3 controller while your ps3 is actually on and running not while it's sleeping and going on going forward on the ps4 you can uh, turn off your PS4 and still charge up your controllers, which, you know, we all wished was there in the first place. But anyway, that's getting resolved. So, cool thing, might not have known it. Another thing that's new, there's going to be a headset in every box. Uh, the PS3 kind of went through its growing pains with this. Because it didn't ship with a headset, talking to each other and working together during a game on the PS3 is a little less common than it is, like, on the Xbox, for example. And the other thing is... Um, the quality of the headsets that sometimes you hear on the PS3 are dreadful. They're like free Bluetooth phone things that your mom got at a convention instead of like a, you know, decent headset meant for gaming. Well, starting with the PS4, that problem is gone. There's going to be a headset in every box. So I'll admit, you know, that sometimes there's a downside to that too, that sometimes um, the things that people say to you are not things that you want to hear. <laughs> but... Um, uh, I overall I think it's a good thing and I think that all the platforms should encourage communication and it should be a good thing uh, to, on, on a side note like when I first got back into gaming uh, Left 4 Dead was a popular game and if you didn't have a headset people would just kick you out because the, the teamwork was so critical I like that I like that everyone's supposed to be working together and making friends and hanging and like it's supposed to be awesome and the PS4 is making a step towards doing that by putting a headset in every box so maybe you didn't know that either Real names. So when they first showed the PS4 on February 20th, like a month and a half ago, when they showed off the console, they had it linked with Facebook accounts and it was using your real name, like the name that your mom calls you, assuming that's your real name. <laughs> I don't know what your mom calls you. But um, uh, that's something that you can turn on friend by friend. So you can have some friends who see your name as whatever, you know, uh, cod destroyer or something like that i don't care and then uh you'll have other friends who see your real name as you know jacob smith so uh the real name thing is something you can turn on and off it looks like on a friend level which is probably uh, you know just what you're looking for so that's a good thing 
Recording works in every game. So I think a lot of people have heard, and it's definitely confirmed as true, that the PS4 is going to enable like PVR sort of functions where you can record your gameplay. And it turns out that the developer doesn't have to do anything. That's all handled on the PS4 level. And that's kind of, you know, people had that question that was that sort of out there. But now we know the answer for sure. Every single game, you'll be able to record it. The developer doesn't have to do anything to make it happen. In the same way, like, if you have a PVR, then, then you can... Look how gruesome that is. That, that you can record anything you want. So, uh, so, yeah. Recording works in every game. That's a new piece of information that's been confirmed. So, oh, I've got one more thing. Uh, it, it's this. There's a large hard drive in every console. That, that kind of ties into the recording thing. They haven't defined what large is. They actually said very large. What is that? Is that... A terabyte and a half or something I'm not sure what very large is but I had heard a rumor that you'd only be able to record 15 minutes of footage and while that covers most like COD games there's a lot that doesn't cover you certainly can't do let's plays in that a lot of battlefield games go longer than 15 minutes 15 minutes as a limit you know it, it, it's just not enough but if they're putting very large hard drives in every console then maybe we're gonna start getting some very large recording limits and you know, that would be a cool thing. The last thing I have to share is this dual screen concept. Uh, the remote play exists now. You can pick up your Vita and pick up a game from where you left off on your PS3 and that's cool. But as it works today, you can only have one screen at a time. You sort of transfer from one to the other. As it will work tomorrow, both the Vita or whatever your remote play device is and the PS4 will go at the same time. So that's, that's kind of an upgrade. I don't know how significant it is. I don't know how often you want to see two screens at a time. But um, it all ties into the notion of having a more social experience, which could get really huge. But, you know, it, it, I guess they make it so that I can play and maybe you can watch and give me advice as I play. Um, or you can play and just switch from device to device and roll, you know, walk around the room and then walk into your bedroom and you know, pick up the, from the game from where it left off. But it's definitely able to display to multiple screens at one time, which is an upgrade from the way that it works today. And a world of possibilities that uh, you know that we hadn't seen yet. Like, but this world of possibilities, right? Like, all of a sudden, this idea of like real time sharing and hanging out with friends while playing games is a, a new thing that hopefully developers can do something creative with. But anyway, those are some things about the PS4 that I thought maybe you didn't know already. And uh, looking forward to console news and stuff like like I don't know, a lot of exciting stuff coming out. So have a good day. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see the full gameplay for this thing I just showed you, uh, there'll be an there's an annotation on your screen, so check that out. Thanks.